Ever wondered why your coffee cools down on a winter morning? It's thermodynamics at work! Thermodynamics 2 is not just a mechanical engineering core course, it's an in-depth exploration of the principles that govern our daily lives. From the warmth of your coffee mug to the chill of your refrigerator, thermodynamics is at play, defining how heat and energy interact with the world around us. At the heart of thermodynamics, we find concepts like energy entropy and equilibrium. Energy, in essence, is the capacity to do work, to set things in motion. Entropy, often deemed the harbinger of chaos, is a measure of disorder or randomness in a system. Equilibrium, on the other hand, is the state of balance where no net change occurs. Understanding these concepts allows us to harness and manipulate energy in ingenious ways, fueling technological advancements and revolutionizing industries. So let's dive deeper into this fascinating world of heat and energy interactions. Heat engines, they're not just in your car, they're everywhere. From massive power plants to the humble kettle in your kitchen, heat engines are the unsung heroes of our everyday lives. Now let's dive into the nitty gritty. A heat engine in essence is a device that converts heat often produced by burning fuel into mechanical work. It's like a magician pulling work out of a heat hat. But how does this magic trick happen? Well, it all comes down to the laws of thermodynamics. Here's a simplified version. Heat engines operate based on a cycle known as the thermodynamic cycle. This cycle consists of several stages, including heating, doing work, cooling, and finally, resetting. The engine absorbs heat from a high temperature source, converts part of this heat into work, and then discards the leftover heat to a low temperature sink before starting the cycle all over again. One of the most efficient of these cycles is the Carnot cycle named after its creator, Sadie Carnot. It's like the gold standard for all heat engines. The Carnot cycle involves two isothermal processes and two adiabatic processes. In layman's terms, the heat is absorbed and expelled at constant temperatures and the work is done with no heat exchange. But here's the catch. No real heat engine can reach the efficiency of the Carnot cycle. Why? You ask? Well, it's because the Carnot cycle assumes there are no losses due to friction, conduction, or other factors. In reality, these losses are inevitable. But don't be disheartened. Even with these losses, heat engines play a vital role in powering our world. From the steam engines that kick-started the industrial revolution to the internal combustion engines in our cars and the turbines in our power plants, heat engines have shaped our modern world. They are the workhorses of thermodynamics, turning the heat from our morning coffee to our late-night drives into useful work. So, heat engines are essentially the workhorses of thermodynamics. They turn the heat that would otherwise be wasted into something useful, powering our lives and the world around us. Let's talk about the law that governs time's arrow, the second law of thermodynamics. This law is a fundamental principle that governs the direction in which processes occur and provides a profound understanding of why things happen the way they do. The second law of thermodynamics states that in any energy transfer or transformation, the total entropy of a system will always increase over time. But what is entropy? Entropy is essentially a measure of disorder or randomness in a system. It's like a cosmic accountant keeping track of all the energy transformations that happen in the universe. Picture this. If you have a hot cup of coffee sitting in a cool room over time, the coffee will cool down while the room warms up a bit until they both reach the same temperature. That's the second law of thermodynamics in action. The universe favors equilibrium and it uses entropy as its tool to achieve it. This law also implies that all processes are irreversible. Once the energy has spread out, it won't spontaneously gather back together. This is why your coffee doesn't suddenly become piping hot again, or why broken eggs don't unscramble themselves. The arrow of time only moves in one direction, towards increasing entropy. And what's the implication of this law on energy and heat transfer processes? Well, it tells us that while energy can be converted from one form to another, there's always some energy that becomes unusable, usually lost as heat. This is why no machine or process can be 100% efficient. There's always some energy that we can't recover, a fact that engineers and scientists work with every day. The second law of thermodynamics, therefore, is a central pillar 
in our understanding of the physical world. It sets the ultimate limits on what can and cannot happen in nature. It's the law that gives direction to time, that brings order from chaos, and that governs the intricate dance of energy and matter in the universe. With the second law, we understand why time only moves forward and not backward. Ever thought about the destiny of our universe? Entropy has a big role to play in it. Picture this. The universe as a colossal cosmic stage where entropy is the leading character, directing the grand cosmic play towards its final act. Entropy in its simplest form is a measure of disorder or randomness. In the context of thermodynamics, it's a measure of energy dispersal. But when we scale it up to the cosmic level, things become much more intriguing. Think of it like this. The universe started with the Big Bang, an event of unimaginable energy and order. Since then, energy has been spreading out, becoming more and more diffuse. This is entropy at work, pushing the universe towards a state of maximum disorder. But what does this mean for the fate of our universe? Well, scientists have a term for it. The heat death of the universe. It's a rather bleak scenario where the universe, in its quest for maximum entropy, ends up in a state of uniform temperature and energy distribution. In this state, no work can be done, no stars can shine, no life can exist. It's the ultimate state of disorder, the grand finale directed by entropy. Now don't panic. This endgame is trillions of years away, but it's a humbling thought, isn't it? The same principle that governs how your refrigerator works or how your car engine runs also determines the destiny of the universe. So, next time you see steam rising from a cup of coffee, remember that it's not just about heat transfer. It's a tiny display of the fundamental law of nature that's constantly driving the universe towards its ultimate fate. So entropy isn't just about heat and work, it's about the fate of the universe itself. As we continue to learn and explore, entropy remains a fascinating reminder of the universal laws that underpin our existence and the grand cosmic story in which we're all characters. But what keeps your ice cream frozen and your home warm in winter? Let's explore. Ever wondered how your refrigerator keeps your food cool? Or how your heat pump warms your house during those chilly winter months? It's all thanks to the marvels of thermodynamics. Let's delve into the world of refrigeration and heat pumps to understand how they function. Refrigeration is essentially a process of moving heat from one location to another. The aim is to lower the temperature of a confined space below that of its surroundings. The refrigerator uses a refrigerant, a fluid that easily changes states from liquid to gas and back. The refrigerant absorbs heat from the food items inside the fridge and vaporizes. It then moves to the coils on the back or bottom of the fridge, where it releases the heat and condenses back into a liquid. This cycle continues, keeping your food cool and fresh. On the other hand, a heat pump works on a similar principle, but in reverse. It extracts heat from cold outdoor air or ground and pumps it indoors. Even when it's freezing outside, there's still heat energy present. The heat pump's job is to grab that heat and bring it inside to keep you cozy. Both refrigerators and heat pumps operate on the principles of thermodynamics, specifically the first and second laws. The first law, also known as the law of conservation of energy, states that energy cannot be created or destroyed, only transferred or changed from one form to another. This is precisely what happens when heat is absorbed from one place and released in another. The second law of thermodynamics comes into play with the concept of entropy. It states that heat will always flow from an area of high temperature to an area of low temperature. This is why the refrigerant absorbs heat from inside the fridge, a high temperature area, and releases it outside, a low temperature area. So your comfort at home is all thanks to the principles of thermodynamics. Whether it's keeping your ice cream perfectly frozen, your drinks refreshingly cool, or your home toasty warm in the heart of winter, thermodynamics is working tirelessly behind the scenes to make it all possible. From engines to refrigerators, thermodynamics plays a crucial role. Let's see how. Thermodynamics, specifically the principles outlined in Thermodynamics 2, is like the invisible hand guiding much of our modern world. It's not just about equations on a chalkboard, but real, tangible applications that influence our daily lives. Take, for instance, power plants. The generation of electricity is a fundamental application of the second law of thermodynamics. Power plants 
whether they're coal-fired, nuclear, or geothermal, all operate on the principle of heat transfer from a high temperature source to a lower temperature sink to produce work. This is the quintessential heat engine, and it's all thanks to Thermodynamics II. Moving on, let's consider refrigeration. This is a practical application of thermodynamics, where heat is transferred from a lower temperature region to a higher temperature one. This principle is applied in your home refrigerator, air conditioning units, and even in large-scale industrial processes. Thermodynamics is at the heart of these cooling systems, literally making life in hot climates bearable. Now let's shift our focus to the automobile industry. Cars, trucks, buses, they all rely on internal combustion engines. These engines function on the principles of thermodynamics, converting the chemical energy in fuel into mechanical energy. This conversion process is governed by the laws of thermodynamics, enabling us to travel from point A to point B. In the realm of renewable energy, thermodynamics also plays a vital role. For example, solar thermal energy systems use the principles of thermodynamics to convert sunlight into usable heat or electricity. This conversion, once again, is a showcase of the principles taught in thermodynamics too. As we delve into the microscopic world, thermodynamics also finds application in nanotechnology. Researchers are using thermodynamic principles to design and develop nanoscale devices and materials, pushing the boundaries of technology and innovation. As you can see, thermodynamics is not just a subject, but a cornerstone of modern technology. So the next time you switch on a light, feel the cool air from an air conditioner or drive your car, remember, it's all powered by the principles of thermodynamics too. So, what have we learned today about thermodynamics too? We journeyed through the fascinating world of thermodynamics too, starting with the captivating concept of heat engines. Remember, these powerhouses convert heat into work, and they're at the heart of many machines we use daily from our cars to power plants. Then we delved into the second law of thermodynamics. It's not just a law, it's a fundamental principle of the universe, dictating that energy always flows from areas of high energy to areas of low energy. It's the force behind the flow of time and the inevitability of change. We also explored the concept of entropy and its role in the universe. Entropy, the measure of disorder or randomness, always increases in a closed system, which tells us that the universe is constantly moving towards a state of maximum disorder. It's a sobering reminder of the transient nature of all things. Our journey took us to the world of refrigeration and heat pumps, where we saw how thermodynamics is applied to cool our food and heat our homes. These systems operate by manipulating the flow of heat, demonstrating the practical applications of the principles we've learned. Finally, we looked at real-world applications of thermodynamics too, from power generation to environmental science. It brought home the fact that the principles of thermodynamics aren't just abstract concepts, they're integral to our everyday lives and the operation of our world. The principles of thermodynamics, too, are not just confined to textbooks. They are at work all around us, from the smallest atom to the grandest stars. Understanding these principles empowers us to comprehend and shape the world around us. If you've enjoyed this video about thermodynamics, too, why not give this video a thumbs up? Your likes are the compass that guides us in creating content that you love. And if you're already a part of our VIP-loving community, thank you. You are the wind beneath our wings. If you're new here and you found value in this video, consider joining the family. Hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to ensure you never miss out on a new engineering concept.